Hey everybody, it's Kathy Ekdahl from Personal Best Personal Training, and it's nice to be back with you. We're in golf season here at Mass Golf, and I thought I would introduce to you today some lunges, the dreaded lunges. Everybody hates lunges, and yet lunges are one of the most functional and powerful exercises you can do. And I guarantee you that there is a lunge for everybody. Uh, people tend to avoid lunges because they're hard and maybe they're afraid their knees will hurt them or they don't have good form. But today I'm going to show you a bunch of different variations so you can choose what works for you best. And as we get started with these lunges, I just want to remind you, you don't want to do a lunge without being very warmed up. Especially make sure your thighs and your glutes are very warmed up. You might even have to stretch your quads a little bit before you lunge if you're tight. And you can see some of my warm up videos on, um, on previous uh, newsletters to get some ideas for quadriceps stretching. But so let's start with something very, very basic. And first of all, um, I don't start everybody with a lunge. I might start with a bridge or maybe a single leg bridge or something like that. But today I just want to be able to show you some different lunges. So the first thing I'm going to show you is called an isometric or an iso hold split squat. So in the split squat, we're going to position ourselves here. I have a roller, so I have assist with one leg behind us. Typically, I might have the other leg back, but in order for you guys to see, my feet are straight ahead, my hips are straight ahead, and I'm holding here for a little bit of balance. So if you need balance, you can put it on the other side, you can put it on whatever side you want. So I'm going to switch legs now. I'm going to have my left leg forward, feet straight ahead, and this is my hip replacement side. So all I'm going to do is go straight down and engage my core. So I'm squeezing the buttocks of the back leg, I'm pushing the front foot forward, engaging my quads, and I'm staying nice and tall. Now you don't want to be leaning back, you just want to be in neutral. And my abs are tight, and I might stay here for 10 seconds the first time I do it. It's pretty hard, okay? So um, it's hard, but it's safe. So then over time, you would go down deeper, as deep as you can. Maybe my knee is three inches off the floor. And now I'm working on this isometric position in the bottom of a lunge, and that's hard. So again, maybe 10 seconds the first few times you do them. And then you can work up to 30 seconds. Another introductory lunge, and by that I mean safe, and I think you could probably do it, is a, a stationary lateral lunge. I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but the way that you do it is you take your roller or your chair in front of you, you go very wide with your feet. Hopefully you can see my feet, but my feet are pointing straight and my knees are pointing straight. It's okay to go out a tiny bit, but knees and feet have to be in the same direction. And then using this roller for assistance, I'm gonna sit back, into this left hip and then come up. And I'm gonna go here, into the right hip and come up. Notice how my body stays vertical. I'm not doing this, okay? So again, nice and wide, feet mainly straight ahead, hip hinge back, load that left hip up. For me, it's my left hip, come back up. Now go right, sit way back, load that right hip. That's my backswing. That's where you store your power for coil. Okay, so those are two entry level. Next, you can do a split squat where you have movement with it. So here, I'm going to get into this lovely position, feet straight ahead, hips straight ahead, knees straight ahead, and I'm gonna drop my back knee straight to the floor. I'm going straight down, straight up. I'm not going forward and back. It's straight down, straight up. And all the work is being done through the front heel. So yes, I'm pushing from the back foot, but really keep the weight into the heel of the front leg. So let's take that lateral lunge and make that a little bit higher level. 
Maybe I don't use assist. Now I get into my wide stance. Maybe I even sit my arms out. I reach or I use a plate and I push and push. That's a phenomenal golf exercise. And it's doable for most people if you can hip hinge. The next variation of that is a moving. And usually I'll have my arms out or I might push out. Now you need a lot more body control, okay? Again, the feet are straight ahead. As I move to the side, don't turn your foot up. Keep it mainly straight ahead. Load up your tush, load up your lateral leg. That's what we're trying to do. And again, I, maybe I'll use a light weight. I sit into my hip and back. Now it's very important when you sit into this hip that when you go out, you don't let the knee go out. Don't let the foot roll out. Okay, that's gonna put unnecessary stress. Next is my favorite, it's a reverse lunge. What I love about reverse lunges is it's more glute dominant than knee dominant or more glute dominant than quad dominant. And with a little assist, you can get a real nice lunge here. Um, at the bottom position, I'm gonna drive up, drive up. And that's the kind of force you need to get through the ball. So this is one of my favorite kind of lunges, okay? Again, I'm gonna drive. I'm assisted right now, but I'll do it unassisted. Sometimes I'll hold a goblet type weight right here or weight to my side. So assisted or unassisted, a reverse lunge. Last one I want to show you is a forward lunge. And I'm only going to demonstrate one side because I just had a hip replacement. This is the hardest of all lunges, okay? A forward lunge. I won't even do it on the other side. This is hard because you're accelerating into the knee joint. You have to control that forward movement. You have to know when to turn your brakes on and push back up. So sometimes trainers give people that first. That would be my last one. I'd start you with the isometrics and then I'd get to the split squat or the reverse lunge. Lastly, before we close, one of my favorite things to do is a multi-direction lunge. So in a multi-direction lunge, you go all planes of motion. So I might go forward, excuse this lunge, that's my bad leg. I sit sideways, sideways. Sometimes I'll even open 45 degrees, open 45 degrees. And then lastly, back and back. That is advanced. It works every plane of motion. And if you want, try it out. Um, again, my name is Kathy. You can reach me at Kathy at personalbestpersonaltraining.com anytime. And I'm appreciative of Mass Golf and I'm appreciative of you guys watching me. So feel free to contact me anytime. Happy golfing.